Here's what we have in the news. Nurses are refusing to give patients prescribed medications in the hospital. One mission, one community. Good day, viewers. You're watching the latest news, and we hope you're having a great day. This is the Jamaica News Online TV, bringing you the top stories that are sure with no bias. Coming up in a second, the details of our news. If a person not dead, then you should not bury them. The president of the Sickle Cell Support Foundation of Jamaica, Camille Daly, says discrimination is becoming more prevalent among people living with sickle cell disease as they are being turned away from jobs, are labeled as ad addicts for requesting pain medication. Sometimes the way our medical personnel treat patients. It's brutal. The, there is no apathy when it comes to poor people seeking medical help. There's a lot of frustration in the medical field where hospitals are grossly understaffed and underpaid. And maybe this is what is affecting how these people are treat, being treated. Not to mention the hospitals do not have the equipment, equipment to treat the patients. And it is sad. Doctors are like gods, or at least this is how they see themselves in Jamaica. No bedside manners are taught, and the class prejudice is high on the hierarchy scale in Jamaica. It is so different outside of Jamaica, even if the medical staff have a bad day. No matter how poor a person is, that person will never know. And that brings me to how some medical conditions are being looked at by people in Jamaica. I am only going to touch on sickle cell patients today. If a person is not dead, then we should not bury them. Daly told the Jamaican Observer that the stigma in health facilities causes medical staff in the public health system to frequently question the persistent request for medication from sickle cell patients. Sometimes some of the nurses in the public hospitals often accuse persons with sickle cell of being addicted to pain medication. She added, frequently they might not want to treat them. The nurses would occasionally tell them, you're always here, always seeking medication. Nothing is wrong with you. Even after the doctors have given the painkillers, that continues to be an issue, she said. Daly added that some individuals with the illness might receive the chance to participate in a job interview, but after disclosing the condition, they are denied the chance to be hired. People with qualifications may occasionally be called in for interview at the work. They frequently encounter a change in attitude if they admit during the interview that they have sickle cell disease. If they have sickle cell Anema, the interviewer may stop asking about their qualifications or may start asking them, Really? You have sickle cell? You are sure you can work? She said, So frequently, that seems like a definite thing. That the interviewer was impressed with their credentials and experience becomes suddenly doubtful to the company and frequently the applicant is not hired. Just recently, she says, I received uh, an information that there is unquestionable discrimination in the labor market. She continued. She stated that the organization, which has about 70 members, needs greater financial and social support to help those who are afflicted by the condition. The most recent endeavor was a sickle cell project that award four university students $650,000 in total in academic support last year. A teacher's manual that offered advice on how to cope with kids who have sickle cell disease was released before that initiative. 
SCSFJ applauded Cabinet's discussion in 2021 to expand access to free medication filing at community pharmacies for more people with the disease. And that was a wonderful thing for these people because medication is costly and they have to get medications. According to government estimates, it will cost roughly $36 million to introduce the modification with cash coming from the Ministry of Health and Wellness Pharmaceutical Budget. And she says, we are pleased to learn that patients at the University Hospital of the West Indies Sickle Cell Center Unit will now have access to care through the drug service public pharmacies. The majority of the people who visit the unit are extremely impoverished and they are typically treated as private patients according to Daily at the time. People with sickle cell disease can live full lives and enjoy most of the activities that other people do. So discriminating them against them, they are without conscience. And to think that nurses can turn to them and tell them that they are addicted to medication and that they don't need the medication and withhold the medication from them. Not, you know, if they were in those people's shoes, if it was their kid, their mother, their sister, or even themselves, they would see things differently. You're sick and you're coming and you want treatment and the doctor prescribe it. It is not the, in, in the person's, the nurse's place to withhold medication until you don't need medication. And also, if a person feels that they can work and they go for a job interview, it's wrong to discriminate against them. But this is Jamaica. We have things all backwards and upside down. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.